Hey guys, it's me, Pupumion. I'm back for another character review. Today, I'm going to be talking about Venom. Now, Venom, I'm actually really excited to talk about because I'm a huge fan of Venom in this game. He's one of my favorite characters to play. Not only do I think he's very well visually uh, represented in this game, he's like this hulking beast. He's super cool. They have the crazy tongue, uh, the little symbiote stuff. I mean, it's just, they did an, a, a great job with Venom. I love this Venom, the big hulking Venom. You know, sometimes they do like this little thin Venom. Um, I like big, bulky, like intense intimidating venom with the big teeth and all that and that's what came through in this game so i'm a huge fan of how he looks first off uh, but his kit is so much fun to use uh, he synergizes so well with so many characters and just when you hear what his kit does uh, you're going to understand all the unique ways you're able to use venom in the game uh, so let's start off by looking at his basic attack uh, we'll go simplest part of his kit to the more complicated parts of his kit um, this is a pretty fine basic attack it's nothing to write home about uh, but he gets to flip positive effects to negative effects um, and apply bleed to the enemies along with dealing a nice amount of damage that's a solid basic attack nothing to complain about it works well in this kit because he works a lot with debuffs um, so you know it works well for what he has to do uh, can't complain with a basic attack so special violate also uh, pretty good deals a hefty amount of damage plus applies ability block I love ability blocks that's so great to put on enemies uh, especially tanks if you don't want them to taunt uh, and then he applies a ton of bleed uh, and even for two turns once you get this to the final rank uh, so this is also really strong can do a lot to shut down an enemy and now for his ultimate corruption uh, this is an awesome awesome ultimate it's so great uh, what it does deals a hefty amount of damage to the primary target and adjacent target applies heal block to the primary and adjacent targets and then any negative effect that is on the primary target spreads to any adjacent targets uh, except stun um, this is so great now you have to get to level six to allow it to spread all negative effects but that is just crazy uh, because he works Works with the symbiotes now of course right now he's in this weird limbo where he works on like a spider-man symbiote team if you're watching this video three years down the line I bet there's gonna be a full symbiote team and he's gonna be on the full symbiote team uh, right now he does like this weird half synergy with spider-man uh, but he works really well with characters like carnage where carnage applies a ton of negative effects then venom spreads them all um, it is just so crazy um, you can just shut down a whole enemy team uh, with the fact that he spreads all those negative effects you can stack like five or six bleeds on somebody um, um, you know offense down defense down that venom spreads it across to the whole enemy team i mean this is crazy that's absurd uh, this synergizes well with a ton of characters not only carnage but characters like pyro um, who work with a ton of negative effects himself uh, venom is just it, oh my goodness his ultimate is so cool and it's so satisfying to use because of all those negative effects you can spread plus if he, you have symbiote spider-man on the team then you're healing when you apply negative effects to enemies so he's just man venom is great um his passive is not that great um he, he gets more focus which is good because he needs focus to apply these negative effects um he can apply offense up uh on on his turn um so this is actually a really good passive right here I, I need to get this to the next level this is pretty great um if he's at max health uh pretty much he'll apply defense up uh to uh, all the symbiote allies so this is actually a really good passive i need to get this up even higher uh but what's kind of cool about it is he heals for um 15 of his max health per turn um, so this is nice it makes venom more tanky allows him to apply negative effects more often which is important and if i get to the next rank then he gets to make the whole team more tangy so venom is just a really really good character uh, and i like that he is pretty farmable uh, i believe you can just farm him out of a campaign node right here yep so he's right here um i i'd advise you farm out venom i think he's great um i just i love venom in the first place i think he's a cool character and i think he's realized very well in this game uh let me show you what team he works well on uh this is gonna be kind of harder because i can't just he works on the symbiote and spider verse team uh, so i can't just show you um like i can't just show you one tag to show you the team so instead i'll go to my save squads over here and i'll show you them right here so here's the team i can show you them blitz uh, again i don't expect this to last this is like a hybrid spider-man symbiote team i expect at some point in time it's going to be full symbiote and a full spider-man team uh so you know right now you have spider-man miles morales hanging out right by the symbiotes i don't know where symbiote spider-man is going to end up he could end up in either team probably more towards the symbiotes um but this is the current team he works with uh, miles morales spider-man apply some negative effects symbiote and carnage apply a bunch of negative effects and then venom can spread them um, i think venom is a very critical member of this team and i think this is an incredibly competent team you can get a lot done with spider-verse and the symbiotes and i'm a huge Huge fan of them.
but let me know in the comments down below what you think about Venom. Uh, you know, I, I give him a lot of hype, but let me know how good you think Venom is. I think he's just super good, a uh, ton of utility for teams. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, what do I really know? Because I am only an 18 year old. I probably can have a happy and healthy day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Sign off, everyone.